Have you ever heard of bronze pennies struck in air in 1943? Sure you did. Even people who are not into coin collecting know about these famous and valuable coins. In this video, we want to share with you some very special news about them. YouTubers, this is JNB, and welcome to our JB Coins family. We're all about coins and currency. We have new videos every day and are here to help you either start your new collection, expand an existing one, or find that one valuable coin that can change your life. You probably are wondering what news we want to share with you. Some might think Maybe new discoveries were made, right? No, no. Uh, no new discoveries as far as we know of, but a very special and a very kind act was made in the numismatic world. As we read from Numismatic News, two of the rarest and most famous U.S. coins have been brought together under a single owner. The Don Lutz Jr. 1943 Philadelphia Bronze Lincoln Cent, and the Kenneth S. Wing Jr. 1943 San Francisco Bronze Lincoln Cent. They were named after the teenage boys who found them in the 1940s, one on the West Coast and one all the way on the East Coast. They struggled for years to have them declared genuine and kept them their whole lives. The coins were sold after their deaths for more than 200,000 each. We did multiple videos about them and their history. And the fact that these two boys believed in their finds and were not taking no for an answer when everybody was telling them that their coins were fake. It's truly a remarkable story. These coins were not even supposed to exist, but as we now know, some do exist and are bringing amazing money. But everything started with two teenage boys who held on to them. And the fact that one person now owns both examples and decided to keep these boys' memories alive is amazing too. It simply means that he cherishes these coins, not only because of their values, but because they have a deeper meaning to him and to all of us in the numismatic world. Both coins were certified as authentic by NGC or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. NGC graded them both AU53 separately. Now the two coins are displayed together in a special single Tampa resistant NGC Holder. We really love this act of the new owner and NGC. And if you're watching our videos, you know that we always encourage everybody to hold on to their coin, especially if it could be a new error, new discoveries that some so called experts are telling them are not worth anything, just like they told these boys. History has shown many times that these experts are often simply wrong. As for 1943 bronze pennies made in air, there are about 40 1943 copper alloy pennies that have been found so far. It doesn't mean that there are no more of them somewhere, so look for them. Like we said, in 1943, pennies should be made in steel, but some were made on copper planchets left over from the previous year's production. They're super valuable. The most expensive one until now is the only example of a 1943 minted in the Denver Mint, and it sold for $1.7 million. We do have many videos about them. If you wish to watch them, some are linked in the end of this video. 
so what do you think about the idea of bringing these two coins together this way? Please let us know in the comments section below. We do read all your comments. So we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Also, please remember to hit the little bell and set it so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video or do a live stream. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.